Well, hello. All right, so I'm going to do a review on the Summit Hydraulics Multiplier Kit. So I've got the two mounted on the three point, and I got the three mounted on the trailer, which is right there. Pretty nice, works out. Looked good, so I bought it, and I've tried it, and I've used it. Not for a long time, I'll probably do a one year review on these stuff too, but the two go on the quick hitch, which is right there. One operate, one part of it operates the top link to push the top of that in and out. The other part operates the winch. So the two, which is a hydraulic multiplier valve, SCV splitter diverter with couplers and switch boxes. Then they change it over here a little bit. So eh, it's a three current selector valve, including coupler and switch box. So they both got switch boxes. They got mounts for the switch boxes. The three came with a mount right there. The two did not come with a mount. So you get all, you get quite a bit of stuff. They give you covers for the quick connects. They give you the quick connects. They give you some 90s and stuff. They don't give you as much with the two, but understandable. But yeah, they give you the covers. It colored too. But it's a pretty simple setup. And then you just have three three switches for that setup. Two for the other one. Uh, yeah, so the two is a HM2 and HM3 for the three. So it would be that and plus a dash 08 dash SBC from site from Summit Hydraulics. Uh, I got, show you this one real quick. This one, I haven't finished it up yet, but it's working. I just gotta put some quick connects over there. I took in, being it was so long to that one, that uh, selector there, to the switches up here in the tractor, I had to cut it and put a new line in, or an extra line. Well, this is where the switches are. I just wanted to show how I mounted it. I just made a plate, and I screwed it through, ground them off, painted the back, so you can't see the screws, nuts and bolts. Try to get them as small as I could, and just tighten them up. I'll probably have to tighten that up some more. I should have put a piece of rubber in there too, but I didn't, but it's hard to mount things in a tractor without them getting away with something else. So, <clears throat> I'll show you the other side real quick. I got them working in the videos, so I'm not going to hook everything up and do that. But, like I said, it's just a, it's just a review. I'll do a, a one-year review. I don't know if I had any problems with it. Oh yeah, I marked them. Uh, hey, they're not too bad. No, nope. you're sitting here, over there. The top one operates this for the top, uh, the three point, and this one here is for the trailer, which is the bottom one there. So, figured a three point I won't use that much. That's why I put it in the back and put it on top. Uh, the trailer one I'll probably use more. So that's why it's on the bottom and in the front. <coughs> but yeah. So it's just, it gets all its power from the tractor, from those switches to operate. There's no external uh, power going to the solenoids, just to the switches. You have power to hook up. And then they got kind of some kind of messed up lead thing. Go and just pay attention. You'll see when you cut the wires, which one's ground, which one's not. You know, um, it was like multiple colors. One was black ground, one was two, and two of them were white. And I'm like, wow. And then the positives, or yeah, were green, blue, and orange, or yellow. 
either way. Ah. Oh, green, red, and white. The ground must have been black. Maybe that was on the other one. I don't know. Either way, they work good. So, the first one is this one, second this one, second, third is this one. You know that. The mounting brackets, I mounted them on the bottom. You got two different sets of holes on the three to mount them, or however you want to mount them. Uh, two only has two holes for mounting. You can see there in the picture. I don't know if you can show the three. Well, there's two I can see there, but there's another set down below that. See, there's one here. There's a set down here, and then there's a set through here. So, but yeah, this first one goes to the ranch here. Go under a T, and then go underneath, and go to the first one. The second one goes to the top links or for the platform ones these ones here that one's for another trailer now i have it looped there and up here for now oh, cold and hot or whatever these are to hook them up that way but if i don't if i have these disconnected and i have that one on there i can get a tractor hit number two and release some of the pressure for me to hook those up to there so but yeah it works so i'll give it a year review probably here uh, eight eight twelve months or so but yeah it's a good option if you don't have a lot of remotes on your tractor or you don't want to run you know three sets or four sets of hoses one one set i only got two remotes on that tractor so it works out great I could put a diverter on a three-point and get another set out here, but I figure why. I need to put a diverter on this set up to make it so it shuts up and doesn't go up so high. But either way, that's another video. So, all right. God bless. Enjoy. And we'll catch you in the next one.